You know, it was the first Christmas that they've had to spend a, a, away from me and stuff like that. I missed one birthday apiece, which ended up being all fair. So <laughs> <laughs> this is this is my second major one. So I deployed to Iraq in 04, 05. The first one was much worse. We didn't have a lot of contact with them. And, yeah. But this is the first one with the kids. Yeah, this first one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So we just we've been such a big part of this school over the uh -huh. last few years, and all three of our girls being at the same school now, which has um, been a great th great thing for them and our family. And well, and Tammy Clark, the librarian, she's been really good about organizing the kids, oh, super like two good. or three times a year to. Um, write all the soldiers' letters, and then mm. they sent over Christmas crafts. We got so a they did huge a big craft Christmas night here box and, with yeah. Christmas tree and decorations, <laughs> and, you know, so it was it was cool. Raise your hand. How many of you guys have had people that have served in the military that you know? Look around at us. We have a lot of us that have people that have served. Nice job. Okay, hands down. So I'm going to read you this story that I bought. Um, it's called Hero Dad. It says, My dad is a superhero. He doesn't wear a cloak that makes him invisible, but he wears camouflage. Sometimes he goes away for long trips because that's what superheroes have to do. My dad is an American soldier. My dad is a hero. He is my superhero. And we have somebody special here that we want to welcome home from Afghanistan. Sergeant McCreary. And I think there's somebody here that might want to see him. Come on up, guys. Definitely emotional. You know, so um, I haven't got to see them for a whole year, so. Um, but it, very joyful, very joyful, very thankful. So. Just yeah, it was joyful. I definitely <laughs> agree with that. I was so happy to see the girls reunite with their dad um, after so long, and um, to see the big smiles and the big hugs. Yeah. And to know that we actually surprised them. We pulled it off. Yeah. <laughs> Too many times I thought they might be on to me. Be careful. I'm taking some video. 
I'm videotaping you. Um, are you gonna clap too? Yeah, I'm anxious to hear about this story. Yeah, Finley, sure. please be careful. And the baby bear. Finley, you are worrying me. Mommy, are you gonna take pictures? <clears throat> yeah, I'm videotaping. And the, the baby bear had a heart. Oh. For someone. With little hearts on it. That, that didn't have a toe. Any hearts yet. So the heart flew to the other house that didn't have a, that no one had. Mommy, we need a computer. You need a computer? Okay, just a minute. Mommy, how do you spell one? Like now. once upon a time? Yeah, how do you spell once upon a time? Yeah. O. Okay. N. Okay. C. Are you okay. watching, Mommy? E. Then the heart What? Once upon a time. Mommy. A pawn is you. Mommy, are you listening? Yes. P. Okay. Then P. the house. Then the heart. Okay. O. But I found out that I was coming home early. Thank you. But this is the surprise. Yes! This is the surprise. Are you shocked? Morning. 
and uh, her family is here. And uh, the Midbet family has uh, just been a blessing in our church. This last week I saw them over at the church, uh, come on over here, in front of the screen up here. Uh, this past week I saw them over at the church. They were uh, cleaning the church. And uh, as many of you have, we want to thank you guys for helping out. They made it a family affair, and uh, they've been doing a great job. And uh, we also know that we've been praying, praying for uh, Susan's husband, Tom, who's in the military over in Afghanistan. And I think he's expected to come back sometime in June. And uh, you guys miss your dad? Yeah? And, uh, but uh, how long has your dad um, been over in Afghanistan? July of last summer. When is he due to come back? Okay. Well, as I mentioned, we've been able to uh, do some blessing in this congregation. We wanted to bless you with someone that might be uh, with some gifts that would be a housekeeper to help you in all the ways that you have uh, uh, helped out us. And so we could ask this uh, housekeeping gift to come on out. Jason? Is something supposed to happen? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I guess something was supposed to happen. Well, you know, Easter's all about surprises. We'll see what happens. <laughs> How did the cleaning go over at the church the other day? Right? <laughs> Except for you? I like the DJs. I knew it. I knew it. Hey, 
Come here, Izzy. It's a surprise. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This is I've been knowing about it for a long time. Thank you for turning the light on. I don't need the light. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We've been scheming for so long. I knew. I was playing this since. I have no idea. Yeah. Tonight, tonight, Jared picked him up at 10. Yeah. And that's so why you couldn't talk to me earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where, what, what are you flying to? Is he no, Lake Charles. Is he going to be able to be here for Christmas? I have no idea. Be here. Daddy's in the backyard, waiting for them, huh? You wanna go outside? Come on, come on, all right, let's go. Okay. Come on, come on, Major. Come on, Major, come on. Come on. and I can't wait. Tina Johnston's daughter, Staff Sergeant Jennifer Beach, returned yesterday from the Middle East, and they're on their way to surprise Beach's seven-year-old daughter. Well, what do you think? At first, shock silence, then elation. Mommy. Yes! Mommy! 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 Staff Sergeant Beach says the separation was very difficult, but she's proud of her service. That was a good surprise, wasn't it, huh? Mm. She had a very hard time with it, but she's well, she's Sammy a, even cried on the bus. <laughs> but she's very strong. Beach is a single mother and says she couldn't have spent six months overseas without her mom's help. What's that been like for you? Well, at first it was kind of hard, but then I kind of got used to it. Now I don't want to leave Grandma. <laughs> and that's comforting to Staff Sergeant Beach. She had to change her whole life just to you know, take care of my girls. The visit also allows Beach to meet Heather's friends and teachers. Thank you and Mrs. Stiller very much for taking care of my daughter while I was gone. I really appreciate it. What's it like to have mommy home? <laughs> really nice. <laughs> I okay? missed you. I missed you too, baby. In Somerset, Rick Reitzel, NBC4. Does anybody want to ask me any questions about being overseas or anything like that? Marley, Marley, come here. You get out of the way. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, oh. 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 oh my God! I'm coughing. Oh my God! I'm I, I know you did. 
Marley, get down, get down. Oh, so good. Mar oh. 